This is a model of Quai Colors that was just opened yesterday. Its advantage is direct. No need to download and install models yourself. Download the node directly. Install this node. Then run this workflow. He will automatically download the model and this quantitative model. That is, I understand Test. his advantage is that he is the first one. Support generation in Chinese or English. Prompt words will generate Chinese font images. This is officially provided. It is this node. You must first install this node. Then install this node in your Kong Fury. Then open these two workflows. When running, he will automatically download the model. This way it is convenient. For example, if you like other models, you have to install it yourself, which is too much trouble. Like SD3, it's very difficult. It is much more convenient to install it in another way. You just need to install the node. Drag the workflow into OpenNet. It will automatically download, then run these models to generate images. It's finished downloading. You don't have to bother with the installation files yourself. This is a raw picture, and there is also a workflow here. It is a workflow for graph generation. This is also an official workflow. Also the same. You put this workflow. In fact, these are two similar workflows. Drag it in and open it to run. It will automatically download the required models. This is called a quantitative model. You can use understand as text. Then this picture is based on this picture. Then use the vertical bar to separate the middle according to the prompt word. Let it generate two pictures. Take a look at the effect. This model also has the It's effect very of. perfect. Anyway, currently, only this one can generate images of Chinese characters. This way, it is very convenient to use the image to create a new image or to modify something. The raw image effect is OK. But the focus is not on the quality of the production. The official one he provided is OK. The point is that this can generate Chinese characters. Then both Chinese and English prompts can be used. And Chinese elements have been added to the model of the raw picture. So if you want to generate something with Chinese elements, his model is currently the only one. This is a workflow for graph generation. The principle is the same. He is one. He is when you install this node. He will have a node specific to this node. Then this is a text encoding model for text understanding. Then through his unique sampling of raw pictures. Then generate. I'm using the online mirror of Duana Cloud. If you open it, you don't need to install it. Create this workflow directly. You can see this workflow. Description. Update the platform to the latest Just version. Just click it and run it directly. No need to download, because I have already downloaded it. I am currently using the end-to-end -end cloud image. If you don't want to deploy locally, just use this end bring cloud image directly. Open it and it's me now. Run directly online using the 1090 graphics card. Then there are two workflows. One is a raw picture. One is a picture of a living picture. The principle is the same. The only difference is this. This side, I can use Chinese, this segmentation. Remember, if you want to split the picture into two, this is the vertical line division in English. 
You can separate picture. You can write here. Read the style. Blue final words. The following one. You can write. Realistic style. The wolf is by the sea, which means that you can use Chinese directly without translation, because this encoder supports. The biggest advantage is not that this prompt word supports Chinese. The biggest advantage is that it supports generating Chinese font images. This will be convenient for us. For example, image restoration. You can change its font. For example, this image has Chinese characters. Then I can use this model to modify. Other models cannot be modified if they do not support Chinese font generation. So this is its greatest advantage: generated image quality. Basically, the current models are very large. This one seems to have 16 gigabytes, so there is basically no problem in generating image effects. This is a vector diagram. This is a wolf on the beach. So his semantic understanding has also improved. Another key point is complex semantic understanding, which is basically OK. Then text rendering supports the generation of Chinese fonts. Support generation of Chinese fonts. If you want to deploy locally, you can open my notes. My notes, you need to open on this. Comfy UI tutorial. Then pull down the first one at the bottom. This is the quick hand picture. Raw picture. Here is this node installation URL. There are also the screenshots of the workflow. There is also the following workflow file. Download and you can install and deploy locally. Of course, there are many other things in my notes. For example, this model. I will show the better ones I use here. You can click to see. There are also some fine tuning models. ETC. Basically, I will put it in if I need it. I won't put in anything I don't use. And this note, for example, this Photoshop plugin. Actually, it's useless. Just run Confuwe in Photoshop to create or modify the image. Spare bar. There are also calls that other computer GPUs to generate these more powerful nodes. There are two nodes for replacement. If I need anything, I'll put it here. Then here is a full node that I use. This workflow. Mainly used to detect whether all my workflow nodes are normal. I just need to fix this workflow. It is equivalent to repairing all the workflow nodes in me. This is convenient. Solve all workflow node problems in one step. OK, let's share this issue here. Everyone, go and use this most powerful question. This is a model for Chinese font generation. All right. Go have fun.